Hi, my name is Eric Toth. I'm with Big Five Creative. And standing in back of me is the new HP Experience Center here at IT Supplies. We're really excited to showcase all of the printing capabilities the R-Series printer. From white ink printing, world road printing, like the wall covering in back of me, and then printing on a variety of applications and substrates. What I thought I'd do today is I thought I'd take you on a tour and explain each one of the pieces so you could understand the technologies in back of it. Uh, behind me is a runner crashing to the wall. And it, the, the idea behind this wall is the fact that the, the HP Latex R-Series printers are remarkable in the fact that they can do roll-to-roll -roll and rigid substrates with latex inks. So this runner crashing to the wall is, is represents breaking barriers within the industry itself. So what we're doing in this wall is we're trying to show a mix of different practical applications that happen within the markets. So one of the things that we're showing here is, for instance, on this top piece, we're showing the direct to substrate printing, then dimensionally cut. Here we're showing wall decor. So this is a, a canvas print and then stretched onto a canvas frame. Over here we have a retail display box, done on corrugated, direct to substrate printing onto corrugated. Here we have banners. In this case, a vinyl banner, and in this case, a fabric banner, both showing the roll-to-roll -roll printing capability of the R-Series printer. Finally, as we move towards the end here, what's really remarkable about the R-Series printer is the fact that even with its limited ink set of six inks, it's able to accomplish a higher gamut than any other color printer on the market. In this case, remarkable flesh tones of this wedding photography and all accomplished with a smaller ink set, still highest gamut on the market. Below here, we have backlit, remarkable color, pops, vibrant, all with just the limited ink set that we've got. And then even with the limited ink set we've got, here uh, we're showing off Pantone colors. The R-Series printer is able to accomplish 50% more Pantone colors than other printers on the market. So one of the things we want to do in a playful way is we wanted to basically use these to, first of all, showcase packaging done on the R-Series printer. And then also, we've got the Pantone color chip here. And then with its highest color gamut on the market, it's able to accomplish colors like this Pantone 186. So some of the really great industry standards like a, a Pantone Red for Coke, We've got an orange here that's for Home Depot. Then we have a purple that we part of the FedEx purple. So we are showing it on packages. We're showing it on corrugated cardboard, dimensionally cut, and then turned into a floor standing display. And finally, to close off all of these, what we've done is we've done a surfboard that we've wrapped with a vinyl wrap. Um, you'll see this with, with cars, with surfboards, with, and with anything that can get wrapped with an adhesive vinyl wrap. Uh, in this case, it's wrapped by both sides, and we've gone ahead and made it where you can take it out and see the back if you needed to. So in this case, we've wrapped both the back and the front of it. And finally, as the last thing on this wall, we've got the wall covering itself. This is an adhesive vinyl. It's a low-tack adhesive vinyl that's put onto the wall. And once again, it shows you that you can do rigid substrates or you can do roll-to-roll -roll printing on the R-Series printer. On this wall, we've got the fun applications. One of the, the, my favorite things to do is to work with white ink printing. It allows you to print on a remarkable substrates such as wood, acrylic, uh, metal, or in this case, we're printing direct to a piece of Sintra. Now, it's remarkable in that the level of fine detail you can get within this print and still have the white trap perfectly within it. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go through and explain some of these will sound like complicated applications, but they have this really elegant, remarkable look to them. Uh, for the first one, what we're doing is we're trying to showcase what might be a really cool piece that would go into a snowboard shop. So we've got, this is a dark substrate, in this case, black Sintra. We're printing directly to the black Sintra, so everything you see within here that's black is the raw substrate, and then everything else has got white behind it, or also CMYK that's happening on it. For the goggles, what we did was we found a gold foil, we print onto the gold foil, and then everything that's the outside part of the goggle, that gets a block out of white in back of it, and then everything you're seeing here for the iridescent goggles themselves, the inks and for the latex inks are translucent enough where the background substrate is able to show through, so you can see all of the effects of the iridescent metal 
through just in the goggles portion of it alone. Now, with uh, bespoke restaurants um, and farm to table, one of the most popular things to do is to print a chalkboard. So in this case, what we're doing is we're showing this is actually a chalkboard substrate. You can take it, write it with, it with a chalkboard, wipe it off, but also we've designed it where it looks like it was done with chalk, hand done. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. It's remarkable in that it looks like we printed with a metallic ink. We actually didn't. What we're doing here is the background substrate on each one of these is actually a silver metallic vinyl. What we're doing is we're taking white, we're blocking the effects of all of the silver metallic vinyl and isolating it so the only place that you're seeing the effects is just in the foam. These aren't three different colors of vinyl. Instead, it's the same vinyl, but once again, with the latex inks being translucent enough, all of the confetti, remarkable metallic qualities of the vinyl are all showing through. So you get a really rich metallic orange, uh, a heavy duty lime, and then this really colorful, dense magenta on it. What you're also seeing is that the blockout in the white, the opacity of the white ink is so remarkable that the lifestyles are just perfect. If you get close up, looking even this close, there's no way that you can see any of the metallic effect that's happening within the piece. That is how blockout the white ink is on the R-Series printer. Something else to notice is you've got this gradient that's happening where the ink starts here and then eventually drops out where all the black that you're seeing here is part of the raw board within the design. Look at how smooth the gradient is in this piece. No dropout, no stepping, just a remarkably smooth gradient happening here. Some of these are some of the more practical applications, like you've got this real estate sign on it. Everything that you're seeing here is a brush metal dye bond that's happening within it. And then we've used a blockout layer so that we get white letters, so that's white ink at back. And then in back of our real estate agent, we've used a solid opacity of white. So you don't see any of the metallic substrates showing through. You get this high-end looking sign, and then the lifestyle image is perfect. Within this piece, this is a great, elegant piece within all of the designs. Everything you're seeing here for this copper and white that's happening within here, that is all the raw substrate. So aside from the perfume bottle and the lifestyle shot that's here, all of the effects you're seeing are just white ink and then the copper pearlescent paper showing through. Then we're able to put enough of the blockout white underneath the perfume bottle and the lifestyle image where she shows through. None of the metallic effect is showing through behind her and the bottle. All of the metallic effect is showing through in the background here. And then finally, just for a fun thing, uh, we've got corrugated that we're printing directly to corrugated. And um, we wanted to make it look like it was a watercolor. So in this case, we've used this very matte, raw, corrugated background piece and then printed directly on it. Then behind the woman and for the letters, we're using white ink. So just a, a fun application within that. This is probably one of the most complicated pieces. It showcases a lot of different capabilities within it. What we've got here is we've got a brushed metallic vinyl that we're printing onto. We've printed a watercolor effect onto the vinyl so that when you're staring on it, you get a little bit of your reflection happening on the piece itself. Then we've printed some of the fish on that first layer. On the second layer, what we're doing, which is the acrylic, we've gone and we've printed some of the fish second surface. So now we've got fish that are on the background piece, fish that are on the second surface of the acrylic to showcase second surface printing, and then some of the fish are printed on the top surface of the acrylic. So we've got fish that are happening on the top layer and back of the acrylic, and then also having the base, three different layers of fish that are happening within the piece. And then as a fun element too, all of these pieces that you see, they're actually all window decals, they're window clings. So you can take them and you can move them around. So as the piece stays up, you can play with it and have it change over time. Um, this is just another example of just showing a remarkable gradient happening within the piece. Even with the ink dropping out, we don't get a hard line that's happening in it. Instead, we get this great smooth gradient that happens in the piece. Something that could definitely be produced for a Comic-Con in Las Vegas. Finally, this is a great piece. What we're doing is we're printing directly onto wood. So what's happening here is 
You've got the wood piece. We've printed a raw wood looking file on top of this. And then where you see the snake, we've got white ink. Now for the bottle, what's happening in the bottle here is where the whiskey is, we've not printed white ink. Where the label is, we have printed white ink. So what's the effect that we get with that? Anything that has the label, it's solid, we can't see through it. But anywhere there's the whiskey, without the white ink in back of it, it's translucent. So what we've got here is we're able to see the snake and where it happens behind the bottle, it's translucent and you can see the snake image through the bottle. Just like if this was a real bottle of whiskey, it was sitting here in front of the wood, wherever there's whiskey, we'd be able to see through it. So we're emulating a real bottle of whiskey. Same effect happens up here. And finally, just as an example of the remarkable opacity of the white inks, we've got a dark substrate here, white bottles, vibrant poppy fruit colors that are happening within this. And if you look, it absolutely positively blocks all of the dark background in the back of it. Through this white, you don't see any of the dark substrate. That's the remarkable opaque quality of this white ink. Now, what's also great about this ink, it's the glossiest ink on the market, and also it doesn't yellow over time compared to other competitor products. Well, that's an explanation of the walls that you see. We're really proud of the environment we created here at IT Supplies. We encourage you to come down and check it out yourself. I think you'll really be excited about it too.